Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are once again continuing our Star Wars Ascendancy 1.1.6 preview playthrough, or beta playthrough, whichever you want to call it, as the Imperial Remnant. Uh, so, in the last few episodes, we've been trying to turn around some assaults on our worlds by the Pen of Star Alignment and the New Republic, and uh, we're finally starting to make some headway. We have the Eclipse and the Sovereign in here, so we're going to start trying to get the Eclipse into some action today. So, I guess... Uh, we're going to mostly focus on some Panastar alignment planets for the moment. Uh, I don't know that it's the best idea to keep them together. I think we might split them up, send one up this way, uh, one up this way, and then have them regroup. Just keep them like one or two jumps away from each other so that we can cover more ground but also uh, not be too far away. So I think we'll just unpause here and make sure that we've got some research queued up. So we'll get the improved turbo lasers, improved planet bombing, and missile interference, which we can use if we get any interdictors, which we currently don't have, but we'll probably build up towards. Uh, so do these guys want to... You know what, I'll leave them there so that they can defend against the New Republic. Uh, this fleet should be fine. So uh, let's get you guys together. And I'll make sure that yep, they're jumping together. You guys... I'll need to jump together and can go up here. Deploying to sector. So this should serve to cut off the uh, the remaining Penistar alignment planets. Uh, I guess we can upgrade all that. Governance. All right. Let's sell some of this and make sure that we're getting all of our research done at this point. You doing? Oh, you're invading with very little. Got a job for me? How's the? Oh, never mind. Well, they're gonna come back anyways, right? So you, that's not actually done yet. What's our hull and shields out with this? They're actually both pretty high up. So let's keep that going. Uh, that's either going to come back or not. You may as well jump in. And Palpatine... You don't have Crack Mantle, but you can still mess up a planet. And they're probably going to turn around and jump towards our stuff anyways. So, it's, it's only a couple frigates, really. That ISD alone is going to be in trouble, but up here, ooh, HV gun. Super laser that. Uh, are you the ship that would have come in from there? Yes, you are. You know what? Uh, is this too much? It doesn't actually look like it's too much. I would have preferred that this were the uh, the eclipse against this fleet, but can't always get what you want. We'll just send them in here. We do have a couple capital ships, so it looks like we're more outnumbered than we are. Plus, we have the the sovereign. And these are mostly smaller frigates. Uh, and the best capital ships they have right now in this fleet are Lucre Hulks. Two Lucre Hulks, just two? Yeah. Nope, I don't want you to move. I just want you to attack. Uh, one of the things that has been changed, I can't remember if I mentioned this in the last episode. Uh, we have made it so that the... Um, the degrading systems buff, so, or not really buff, ability, whatever, the system, makes it so that the, uh, at the 15% health left level, they lose the ability to regenerate shields, or at least the shield regenerate gets significantly lower, uh, which does help with the situation, especially for the AI, where you can be attacking a unit, 
or the AI can be attacking unit. They'll think they're going to kill it with the next burst of uh, weapons fire, but then it regens a little bit and they keep switching targets, so they can't effectively kill whatever their target is. Uh, so that should be solved with the next uh, with the next push to the beta repository. Uh, let's do that in that. I'm not sure if that helped the... Yeah, the cooldown time does get lower for both of those, which is what I'm most concerned about with those two abilities. What now? I'm on it. What now? You guys are healing stuff up. That's good. And we got our help. It's not really necessary, but, you know. Do we have any ISD ones with this? No, we do not. Uh, how many do we have in this fleet? There's one ISD one. There's another ISD. Okay, so we can send you over, over to here. To do the, the old shift move. All right, and you can now crack mantle. Moving to sector. And you can also super laser this. Got a job for me? Wait, how do you get that back? Oh, the sentinel's right there. That's kind of rude. All right, well, you guys should be ready for moving on there. Ready for battle. Star Destroyer standing by. What now? Scouting around the station. Sending a bunch of escort carrier Ton Felix after it. This is the captain. Planet upgrade complete. All right, how are we looking? We're second for fleet, first for capital ships. So someone is still technically ahead of us, but I think it's probably not super accurate considering we have uh, we have two titans. And get this, even though it's not really the correct icon. Uh, all that's handled. We can get the last tech there, uh, and I guess we can queue everything else up. We don't really need intergalactic travel, but if we're going to be com completionists about this, we'll get that and the uh, Diplotech. What now? Got a job. Don't let it happen again. Research complete. Will it make it on its journey? <laughs> there we go. Okay, now it's our planet. Alright, uh, you guys are safe to go up to Corellia. Where's that ISD? Oh, did I not actually look it over? Well, either way, you guys can go over to the next planet now, too. So this should be the PA capital. Oh, look at that. They are going in. What they have left. They have a Veladusha. To their hero base. I usually don't end up getting uh, star bases myself in uh, comp stomp games. I do it a bit more in multiplayer, where they're a lot more useful. What are we looking at? Okay, so they got another Valaduja there. Okay, don't spread out too much. I want you all to hold position. Stay just in there. Well, these guys jump off to the next planet.
And okay, so we do have everything possible queued up. Right. What do we want to target first? I think if we hit this Lucre Hulk, we're gonna hit uh, a couple of things in front of it too. You guys are going to go for that Praetor. Alright, they're going to be better off. We already killed the... Uh, killed the Lucre Hulk. Get battle meditation. You're in trouble. Let's try to get the the precursors. I guess I should really focus with everything. Precursors. These are mostly frigates. I am going to jump over to the other fleet for a second. See how they're doing. They're apparently not getting help from the Sovereign. Back over here. You're still okay. Down to 8,000 shields on that. Addict, crack mantle. Oh, you do have crack mantle. May as well just use it. Get that cooldown going faster. Do they think we're trying to leave? I assure you that is not the case. Alright, uh... What we will need, though, nope. Ah, uh, why not? Get a Carrick. Get like 30 of the, of the Lancers. They have a lot to Lancer for. Alright, another, another, uh, Praetor. Pair and Bork. Let's actually get a lot of uh, Interceptors, not Interdictors. So at full health, shields are running out though. Enhanced capacitors. Next level of super laser. Okay, they're retreating. Just a couple frigates left. Let's kill that. You guys have got to get up there more. And let's use this guy on this guy. They're bringing in some reinforcements from uh, what I assume is their front with the New Republic. Let's get a bunch of Dreadnoughts and VSD-2s. And get a couple Interdictors, more of these guys, and a Starbase Controller. Why not? Uh, but let's also make sure... Well, let's get some of those. What are we making sure of? This. I wanted to make sure we had... As many shipyards as we can get. Okay, how's this gonna go? I'm not sure how much damage this is gonna do. 20,000? Okay, so that won't actually kill it. Did a lot of damage. You guys have got to go up here. Okay, I'm going to put everyone on to a local area for that. 
And same with this, you're going to go on local area. Do you have the super laser back? You do. So we're going to take out that Valaduja. And is this the same? Yeah, it's the same damage, I think. Okay, uh, well, you've got to go and do this. I'm just going to scuttle this planet. We're going to turn all these into World Devastators, which are a bit stronger now. A lot of Palpatine's strengths get exaggerated against the AI, because uh, it's supposed to be a bit weaker in, uh, like, you have moments of more strength, but... It's also riskier because you could lose Palpatine, you could lose the Galaxy Gun, you could lose all that. Uh, but when you're doing fights against the AI, they're not as good at targeting that stuff and you can't really change the AI for that. But uh, let's, let's blow up a world. So you can end up snowballing a lot more against the AI. Like the goal is always to be as balanced as possible, but uh, when you have a like high risk faction, it's usually going to be less riskier than or less risky than it is against uh, an actual human player. And that's mostly what we're concerned about balancing around is multiplayer. Like we don't want single player to not be fun or anything, but uh, we're more concerned about whether. Uh, in terms of like competitive balance, it works out as a multiplayer thing. So Trezdan is now Trezgan. All right, you are still doing all right. Uh, let's blow that up. This is scuttling still. It's like a... I think we are probably going to try to re reduce that timer. It's really not necessary to have five minutes before that. They still haven't surrendered. Alright, you're just going to go straight into that. And there we go. I guess this means we're going to split up our forces a little bit more, too. Uh, so we'll see how the New Republic deals with the fact that they have lost that now. But we have all these guys. I'm going to send them in for this fleet. Actually, can I just select a couple of you? couple of you Lancers to go over to this fleet because they are having some fighter problems. And I may as well move on to the next planet. So we'll keep Palpatine down here. I kind of wanted to have here. Let's send Palpatine up there and we'll send the Sovereign down here. You guys wait, and we'll just let that happen. We're just going to be waiting for a second. Alright, there we go. We're pretty much where we wanted to be there. You guys all come to get... nope. Hold on. Sorry. Sorry. You guys gotta go down here, sorry. And this fleet is now together. Jump everyone together. 
into there. How are we looking for our next galaxy gunshot? We only get three of them. So Trezdan, Femis maybe, and Nubia? Unless Nubia is their capital. So the Sovereign's just going to go through those planets. It'll be fine. Palpatine is going to lead the assault on through here and probably into the New Republic after that. So actually, maybe that's what we'll do. We'll do Tanthior. And... Uh, we can make a whole other fleet, really. At some point, we'll have to go through and redo a lot of the icons. It just hasn't been especially possible uh, recently. I'd like to have... If we could have someone between both mods who just works on like that kind of pixel art stuff. Uh, so icons, portraits... Uh, like Oswolf was doing the UI as a whole for Ascendancy, but he is generally busy and hasn't been able to work on the mod for quite some time now. But if we had someone in that role, that would make things a lot easier. Because it's a big part of the polish for, especially Ascendancy, where the menus in Sins are a big deal. Like, they are an Empire at War as well, but you're playing a lot more with menus in Sins than in EAW. There's a lot of, uh, kind of, like, low-hanging fruit stuff that we could do. It's just, it, there hasn't been time for me to do it. Especially with working on all three mods we have going right now. And there's, like, fluctuating numbers of staff who can be active at any given time. But let's scuttle this. There we go. We got some world devastators here. I'm gonna send them up to this planet. Commander reporting. Moving to target. Uh let's do assimilate for you. Devastator. And assimilate for you. Alright, they're just gonna go through and kill all this stuff then. A lot of broadcast centers down here, but nothing we got to worry about. Well, I guess there's a Validusia, but again, Super Laser, so no big deal. Tanthior. Our scouts are making it through. They do have a fleet here that it looks like they want to attack with. Uh, but I really want to get our scouts out in that direction. And then if we have this fleet built up, uh, the one that we're making here... By the time we're going in uh, to the other side of the New Republic, then that'd be ideal. So we'll have torpedo spheres in this side or in this fleet. Uh, they look horrible right now. They're going to get an update, but they will. They'll help make up for the fact that we don't have crack mantle on any of the ships in this fleet, obviously because the sovereign eclipse are elsewhere. You all... Nope. Gravity well. There we go. One of our systems is under attack. Moving to target. He's under attack. No one... To target. How are you looking? First for everything. It's a 20 minute cooldown for the gravity gun. For the gravity gun, not gravity well. Uh... Really well. We're just clearing out these planets that have no defending forces. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to speed it up because I think today will be the last episode of this playthrough. We will start another playthrough again. If you have any preference for our next uh, playthrough, which faction we play for that one, uh, let me know. We're going to try to get some minor factions actions in. Let's 
Sebring. Oh, we're spending all of our money on upkeep right now. But we're getting a lot of Tabana. So we get a couple World Devastators, you guys as well. Let's go clear out these last two planets. Devastators ready there. You guys are almost through. Uh, let's keep on building it up. Just until... We're full up on pop cap. We haven't built any strike cruisers, which is unfortunate. There we go. That's better. All right, you are going to go do this. Nope. Oh. Do this. There we go. How many HP does this planet? Three thousand. Do we know how many this has? We do not. All right. Once these world devastators are over here, we might be able to start off an assault. It's just we don't have as many support ships so it's a bit scarier uh, i'm gonna make sure that we have all the abilities queued up on this though this is the downside of having uh as many capital ship slots as we do managing the capital ships uh in terms of like picking which abilities you want is less of a priority uh just because it becomes less possible to do because you're doing it for like 50 at once But kind of like an ICW, we do want to emphasize more opportunity for larger fleets. So, we've generally gone with that. Let's go up to 20 of those, or 21. Max out those ones, and the rest are going to be TIE Bombers. Uh, let's do the rest of that. Alright, everyone jump together, and we're going to go over to the New Republic territory now. We're sending out ferrets, doesn't matter. Are we looking at this? We're almost there. Focus on the golems. Gravity well. I guess they were just doing whatever they wanted. Uh, is Palpatine in that area? He is. Oh, he already used that. I'm gonna get him to... Super Laser the Golem 3. So by the time this fleet is getting engaged over here, uh, we should be moving in on the New Republic in that area. Valaduja is done. It does say Empress. That's another. That's another one of the things where it would be so much easier. Victory cruiser ready. Here. All right. How are we looking? I guess I should explore planets. I don't like to do that because it's not something we've reworked in the mod yet. So it's easy to get. Uh, so like any uh, bonuses or uh, holocrons, we call them. You get are not things that are tailored to the mod balance yet, and that's one of the biggest things that probably still needs to be reworked. Uh, so I'm hoping that'll come with potentially a, a version in between 1.1.6 and 1.2 with the Hapens. But there should also be a news post going up uh, in about... Uh, oh, two days. Yeah? No, tomorrow, because this is Thursday. Uh, going up on Friday, 
about the Havens, which it's the post is going to apply to both Imperial Civil War and Ascendancy, uh, but just talking about the Havens who are going to be the next playable faction and what that's going to look like, uh, and also showing off some of the early designs for that. So it's going to be it's going to be good. What now? We're really excited about that. We've been looking forward to being able to do the Havens for a long time, and we announced them a little while ago for Ascendancy. Uh, I don't think we've officially announced them for ICW, like any news paste, news paste, news posts or anything before. Uh, so, and we've obviously never shown off any new designs for them before because they just started recently, but it, it should be cool. I'm really happy with what, what Valerie's come up with so far for it. Alright, these guys are still just going through, doing whatever we want. Well, they're going to go after the planet whenever they feel like it. They're their own people. We can send in the extra forces there. I tried for a long time to work out a better system for displaying the upkeep stuff uh, to make it sync with like income ticks. But unfortunately, the buffs that you have to use for it are not the most cooperative. So, kind of just got to live with the system how it is, which is not ideal, but it, it still works, and I think it's still the better way to go for balancing. So, even though it, it doesn't display perfectly, it does at least get the job done as far as that goes. And, I mean, may as well do this. Why not? So the Pentastar alignment should be pretty well messed up right now, right? The New Republic only hates us a little bit, so that's something. Even though we've blown up one of their planets. Alright, you guys get into the next... PA, or the second last PA planet, and this will be the last PA planet down there. And we should be able to Galaxy Gun once more. So can we hit Noob? No, that's their capital. So... Solaria? And we can just go in a, in a straight line from there then? I think the New Republic was a, an aggressive AI, based on the stuff that we talked about a few episodes ago. Because they fell off pretty quickly, but they were also kind of pinched in with the way this map works. Uh, that's another thing that I'd love to be able to get more done on is uh, additional pre-built maps. The new nebula that Bob made. Thing made for Phoenix Rising, uh, but he works on both mods, so used in both mods. Or all the mods. All the TR mods as well as Phoenix Rising, I should say. Alright, did that blow up yet? I, we, oh, we missed it. Oh well. Alright, where is Papa Palpatine? Crack Mantle is almost ready. I guess you may as well super laser that. I want to use Crack Mantle on the planets. Palpatine, Crack Mantle before it rebuilds. Uh, there are small New Republic fleets around their borders. Oh, there's the Endurance, also redone. I still need to port in the uh, the Lancer and Lucra Hulk model. I'm going to try to do that for it. And uh, the Dominator too, maybe. 
I didn't check to see if that was actually done. Okay, there we go. Bye bye, Makati. Alright, we're gonna move in there. Uh, they don't actually control the planet anymore, obviously, because they're blown up. Nope, hold on. In there. Uh, I guess we'll build a star base, because why not? Just in case anyone decides to come through. So basically, the uh, the upkeep costs are meant to keep the economy relevant late game, but the problem is there's not really a way to account for the huge amounts of uh, stockpiling of the other resources that you end up being able to do. Um, so I'm really not sure what else we can... Ooh, okay. They did build a Bellator, even though it was a, a bit late. They were not saved by the bell, let's or. It was awful. So are we going to run into a Viscount then? Research complete. It's still putting out a lot of damage. But... That planet's gonna die in a second, so they'll... I think that means they lose the ability to build anything here. Unless they have a station. Okay, let's head under the New Republic territory over here. Still blowing up their stuff. You know what? Let's make sure we don't leave them with anything. That would be... It's very... Way too generous of us. Right, that's done. These guys are just going to fly through and kill everything, so that's nice for them. Yeah, so these guys are going to be free to do whatever they need to do. And we're first for everything? No, no, we're second for credits. We're first for everything else. Before we get through some of this stuff. Times of war are upon us. Okay, you can't just take the planet sentinels. Gun crews make ready. Increase power to weapons. Uh what's gonna be a good use of this? Super laser that. Where are you guys going? You can't just do this. No frigates. So, I... so the World Devastators I think are really cool just because of the, the stacking buffs they get. I really like that mechanic. Like playing Nasus in League. But it doesn't start happening until later in the game. Uh, I mean you can start it earlier. I. We've been thinking about moving the World Devastators back to a different kind of production method. Uh, Got a job for me? Instead of having to eat the worlds for them. So, that may happen. They just be put on the build bar. Because we also want to move the, uh, the Altor to be a PA unit and maybe get rid of the, uh, the Luga Hulk. I'm not sure why I said it like that. But, yeah. Alright. It would kind of change the thing that we were talking about earlier on, where the... Uh, where the IR 
under Palpatine is kind of balanced on the effectiveness of the galaxy gun versus the effectiveness of the uh, of the world devastators on different maps, but then it just means they'll have a more standard reliable capital ship and we might even make it something that they can use on all the trees, so or we probably would make it something they could use on all the trees. So then they'd still have the MTC as a fleet tender, uh, whereas the PA standard fleet tender is much worse, the Star Galleon, where that could probably get a bit of a nerf. Uh, make sure the MTC is fine, which it really is, and then the Altor remains as a PA unit, uh, which I, I think that's the best way to go. Uh, I might actually bring that up to, as something to do for this version, because we've been talking about it for a long time. So I think it's time to actually make a decision on that. Gotta put it in the pole plaza. Which is where we make all of our decisions as a team. Alright, so they're almost done here. Never really felt the need to interdict in this playthrough. Um, 12,000, 15,000, okay. So yeah, that is the capital. And I do want to get back into doing more Ascendancy Community matches. Uh, the problem with them... Is just that they do take a lot of time, so it's harder to fit them into the schedule. Uh, on deck. So whenever there's a lot of stuff going on, it becomes a lot harder to do it, which is why they're always gone for such a long time. But they will be coming back. I do. I promise. All right, let's uh, hit the goal in. Have we seen an actual Empress yet? No. We use Crack Mantle. There we go. And let's hit on to this next planet, which only has 3,000 health, so I'm fine with that uh, Crack Mantle being used. And we may as well send these ships up here, even though there's only, what, two planets left for each one, each fleet. Where's that lovely screaming? That's a particle that needs to go away. Alright, that's obnoxious. We're eating it! Yum 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 yum. Alright, what's the stat buffs here? 5% damage. 4,000 hull points, and that's 5 on that one as well. 10%. We've got a few more stacks on that one. We construct. We haven't been fighting as many small ships, so they haven't had as many opportunities to stack. Uh, I kind of want to make them unlimited stacking. See how that would go. Then if they die, like they can get really, really strong. Right now, the way it works is that uh, I think it only stacks 10 times, but they the stacks are different based on level. So if you get 10 stacks at level 1, you would then need to... Uh, like, you could replace some of those stacks with level 2, 3, or 4 stacks, and then it gets better, but... I'd rather have the cooldown on the ability chain from the ability level. Because otherwise it can get really messy to manage and to keep track of. Because it's not necessarily, like, really the, uh, the bonuses are coming from the amount of stacks rather than from uh, the ability power itself being stronger as you get up in levels. So I think that would probably work out a little bit better.
All right. Uh, how are you guys doing? I'm just gonna get. Yeah, you're already doing what you need to do, so that's good. Where's the or the sovereign at? Allegiance is right there. Sovereign made it one planet in. Let's focus down the capital ship factory. Moving the sector. Attack! Yes, sir. I won't let you down. Oh, it, it blew up. That's why I can't click on it. Blow this up while they're still making stuff with it. Where are you? World Devastator, come over here. They're sending you food. Food. You can eat this guy. Ready. What now? Destroyer here. All right, so let's get up into the next planet. And how are we looking with this? Okay, it doesn't look like we're actually going to be able to use the last shot. Maybe tough Osleo, but I don't see a world where this takes... Oh, never mind. It's over. We won. So let's check out max ship slots. So the New Republic ended up with fewer max ship slots. Use ship slots... Uh, PA <laughs> fell off a cliff. New Republic really built up towards the end, but we, so did we. All right, well, uh, let's take a look at credits. Kind of stayed even there. Durasteel. That's just the income rate. Peak is 14 for the new... Or no. No, they had 15. PA had 23 capital ships. So neither of those are actually that bad. Uh, but anyways, thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this playthrough. Like I said, we're going to be looking at uh, some of the minor faction changes in the next one. I'd also like to do some other Sins mod playthroughs. Uh, not necessarily with Ascendancy, maybe some STA3. Uh, especially with Age of the Federation coming out. Uh... I'd also like to take a look at Dawn of the Reapers, and there's a bunch of other sci-fi universes that are covered in mods for Sins of a Solar Empire. So I, I would like to take a look at as many as possible. But uh, yeah, so thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.